Yo, what up? We're going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the variable aperture. So exactly what is variable aperture? First off, if you now got devices with variable aperture, that means you can also get devices with fixed aperture. So your next question is going to be, well, what exactly is an aperture before we get into fixed or variable? Well, an aperture is basically the size of the opening in which light has to pass through and hit the camera lens. That's an aperture in short. For example, if you want to take a photograph of a very dark and gloomy situation, you don't want the aperture to be very small indeed because not a lot of light is going to pass through it to hit the sensor. So you want as much light as possible to go through that opening and hit the sensor so you can get a very good low light photograph. Similarly, if you're out and about on a very sunny day, you don't want the aperture to be very big because there's lots of light coming through and you'll end up with an overexposed photograph. So you want the aperture to be smaller to let minimal light through so you can take a photograph on a sunny day. So what does this mean for the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus? Well, the biggest aperture they have is f1.5 and the smallest aperture they have is f2.4. And the easiest way that I can explain this is it's like your eyes like your pupils in your eyes. So on a very sunny day, your pupils are quite small, letting minimal light in because there's plenty of light. However, on a very dark and gloomy day, your pupils are dilated wide open to let as much light as possible in, making it easy for you to see what's around you. Another example I like to use is if you think of your living room like your camera sensor and the curtains are the aperture where you can variable how wide they are or how small they are. On a very sunny day, you don't want all the light to come in so you're looking at the sun so you can close your curtains to the minimum period, which is f2.4 for the Galaxy S9s. So on a very dark and gloomy day, you want as much light to come in to your living room so you can see what's going on and it looks brighter and you don't need to turn on your lights. In which case, you have the curtains all the way open to f1.5 which is the maximum amount of light that can hit the sensor. 99% of phones out on the market have a fixed aperture and at least the Galaxy S9s are the very first phones that I'm aware of that have a variable aperture and obviously if you're in auto mode the camera itself decides what aperture to select but if you're in pro mode you can switch between the two. But yeah that's what a variable aperture is. Don't forget to like, subscribe and if you're new hit that little notification bell. There's plenty more content coming up on here. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day. And I'll see you next time.